Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners. If you're new here, please like, subscribe, and comment. This is recorded around 4.30 Central Time on Sunday, December 3rd. Bitcoin Cash to start off. All right, so we had it finally breakout came up. Key level we talked about, 16.13, poked above it, pretty much closed on it, and then massive pullback straight to the rotation zone and prior breakout zone. Breakout zone is prior resistance becoming support. You can see that and also kissing our trend line goodbye. By the way, this trend line is now redrawn to here. So we're watching the rotation zone still holding. So if you get a rotation back up, then you'll want to watch for a return to the 1536 to 1547 level. Then the 1613 is going to be very key. And if we do rally above that, we're watching for six. 1960. If this level at 1437 does not hold, then watch for a return to 1375 to 1382. Let's check in on the daily chart. So you see we're holding the rotation zone on the daily chart. We just had some selling coming in. Check out our Bitcoin video because we also have some massive selling in Bitcoin coming in this afternoon. Not as much in Bitcoin cash, but enough to leave this pretty nice tail behind after hitting a key level up here what's key for bitcoin cash is holding this upward rotation zone so we really don't want to see it close below 1300 that would not be good for bitcoin cash other than that we're still holding strong hit our next target that's why when we call out these targets you're either want to take some off the table or at least raise your stops because then on pullbacks if we get the rotation back up you can always add some back on Let's take a look at Bitcoin Gold. So we called out a couple levels here. This 325 level and then the prior breakdown zone and the 50% gain level 336 to 337. Pretty much dead close on our 325 after poking up to this 336, 337 level a couple times and then holding at this 325 level now falling back. Right now trading at prior support levels. It dipped down below that but trading at prior support Rotation zone in this one is not as strong as in Bitcoin Cash. Uh, we're holding below it, but if we do get a close, watch for it to get a close back above 300. That's pretty key for Bitcoin Gold. Below 300, that's a pretty big tipping point for it. Right now, it looks like it's trading about 302 or so. If this level does not hold, we'll watch for a possible return to 283 and the next level below that is around 274 to 272. On a move back up, this 325 level is going to be very key and then again the 336 level. Once we do get above the 336 level, you can watch for 357. Right now, we're not aggressively adding anything. We're going to wait for reversal patterns, possibly on shorter term charts, like a one hour chart, or to see it get back up and then rotate back up. And then we can watch for something that's too soon still to draw a trend line because we don't have another, another bar yet. Something, if we're drawing like what we call a best fit line, it would be something like this so far, and then waiting for a move back up above that to consider adding to a position. So that's what you're looking for in both Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Gold. Let's just check in on the daily, by the way, for the Bitcoin Gold. We're still holding the rotation zone on Bitcoin Gold, so that is key. We really don't want to see a move back below 267 at this point, especially on a closing basis. As long as we don't see that, we're still in somewhat bullish mode. This is what we have for you. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and we will talk to everyone again soon. Good luck trading the cryptos, and thanks for watching our videos. Bye for now.